Yeah. Actually, you'll see me tomorrow because I want to come in to see my pal Christina. Oh, we're going to have a very special twit uh, oh, tomorrow. Oh, yeah, sorry, spoiler. <laughs> no, no, that's, I mean, that's not, no, I want to promote it. We're going to have the Rocket crew. Christina will be in studio. Uh, Brianna Wu will join us and uh, Simone de Rochefort, who we've been trying so hard to get, yeah, to get back. Yeah. We finally got her back. So it's going to be a collab between Twit and Rocket Sunday for This Week in Tech. Now I'm going to hand you over to the man, the myth, the legend, Myra Breckenridge. <laughs> Here we go. Cutting the lights, reducing the Skype. Zip do cord, whatever it's called. Reducing it to a fine... Uh, Reducing thing. it to a fine mist. Picking it up with my chopsticks. <laughs> um, have a great show, Dickie D. Bye-bye. Thank you, sir. All right, John. All right, Dick. Let me uh, put you on the stream. Okay. Okay. You are on the stream now. And All right, very good. I got a couple of minutes of reconfiguring to do, and then we'll do the show. All right, chat room. Yes, 10 years of this. Dad! Beatmaster. <laughs> Beatmaster, do you have the date that the first Giz Fizz was? Yeah, um, I, I, it was the day, it was the Saturday after we changed Giz Whiz from Saturday to Tuesday. That's when you started doing the Giz Fizz on Saturday. When oh, there it is. Whiz. I had that date on a post-it years and years ago. Um, Beatmaster has it here. July 21st, 2012. Woo -woo. So it's more than 10 years. And we're going to be looking, we're going to be looking at June, uh, yeah, June 4th, 2013. In a little video. Wow. So that's less than a wow. year. Less than a year into the Gizviz. Yeah. The Gizviz, 10 years of B list memories. <laughs> hey, Ranger Rick. Great recollection. I was like, what is this silly show? Oh, this is very empty pocket said the furniture store keeps calling me to come back. But all I wanted was one night stand. Uh -uh. Uh, mm, 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 mm. Good days and Saturdays. Good day, my oh, good days and mad. My chat room handle. Wow. Only a month after we started the Gizwiz, we had our first chat room celebrity of the week. And then it's been nine years since the last fallen person volunteered. <laughs> uh, Myra said, I close my eyes. I imagine I'm running a marathon. Up uh, there, crickets are getting ready for their 500th uh, to appear on the 500th show. Uh, mm, 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 yeah, I had, a I had on the shirt I had a, on the back of the chair here was like a lumberman shirt for fall. And I ran in the back and dug out, uh, a summer shirt. I was going to take to the warehouse because it's, was it like 74 today? Something like yeah. that. And tomorrow it's going to be 74 for the marathon, which is not a good thing. Uh, should I open a bottle of Prosecco? Yeah, I think you should, Becky. We we finished all our Prosecco last week for the Halloween special, but we're going to run a few minutes of that on Gizwiz 500. Wow. Okie dokie. Do and, and we're going to, you uh, sent me a link that starts like uh, 30 minutes in, and that's where we're going to start. The link you sent me had uh, started at 33 minutes in, or do I start at the beginning of that YouTube clip? Uh, what your special? Number? No, no, no. The the uh, the um Halloween get together. Oh, well, let's we'll, we'll 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 do them after George's picture. Yeah. Well, my question is, the link that you sent me had the time code to start the video on YouTube thirty three minutes in. Is that where you want? Oh, me to start? no, no, that's wrong. So Just start, start at, at 45, the beginning. Yeah, uh, forty five seconds in. Okay. Okay. Uh, and when are we going to show yours? After George's picture? Whenever you think it's appropriate, it's about four minutes long. It'll take me about, uh, you know me what? about 15 I... minutes to explain it. 
Well, you know, since it's the 500th show, I think we should do it at the top. Because it's like a look back, isn't it? Talk amongst yourselves for a minute. I have to talk to Leo for a moment. Okay, very good. Uh, I ran the marathon when it was 80 degrees. I know they're already saying they're going to have misting stations tomorrow. Someone's in trouble. Uh Uh-oh. Oh, Leah saying, run out and buy some champagne. I ran the marathon never. Uh, chat room celebrity of the week. I'm gonna. I, I I think I'm gonna take credit for that because I thought we just see these people. I mean, we see their names, but we never see the people. Anyway. You missed the Daily Gizwiz? I, Doc Mark? Nah. It turned out that the the weekly Gizwiz was easier. First of all, the, it was the editors, because when Gizwiz started, it was only Leo's third show. I met Leo at a press event, and he said, you know, after this, uh, do you have time to have a chat? It was at a W hotel. We went down to the bar and he said, listen, I have a show I do monthly and I have a show I do weekly, but I want to have a daily show. You think you could do a daily show? And I said, yeah, you know, I have enough gadgets. Um, But then he started getting new shows and then the editor said, why do we have this? Why do we have to? Edit this show for every day of the week. Can't you do all five gadgets in one show? So for a while, it was called the Weekly Daily Gizwiz. And then we just dropped it to the Gizwiz. (laughs) Demo says, the whole point of the witness protection program is not to see us. Says recorded earlier on the YouTube stream. Now, what what says recorded earlier? What the heck is all this about? Hey, Roberto. Yeah, oh, th- this part is live. Yes, this is not the recording. Oh, you're right. I vanished. I suddenly all realized. Right, all right, all right. I, 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 I think I talked Lee went to buying the the thousand dollar version of the thing that he wanted to buy for three hundred fifty dollars. But <laughs> oh, okay. It's a, it's a, oh. it's a, it's a, it's a PCIe Thunderbolt three expansion chassis for putting uh, deck link cards to get video out of. And there's boxes, but they're big and awkward. We have to put it in the rack. So, but there's a rack one that's a thousand. You know, instead of three hundred fifty dollars, it goes in the rack, and you put your Mac Mini in it. Also, uh, it's very exciting and. I, I got Leo excited about it, and he said, okay. So I'm excited now, too. <laughs> okay. Someday- and the chat room saying they don't see me. Oh. Ah, I put the play box on the screen. Okay, I got to calm down now. Uh, talk, a mi- talk a minute more <laughs> while I uh, do some more things. I'll be right back. Okay, right. now the now the screen is blank, right? It's black. Can't be used to Oh, there we go. Okay, now we're back. Okay. Hey, Bill in Michigan. Oh, we're back. We're back. Ah, uh, we never left. Okay. I've always been my there. voice. My voice was always there. Okay. Okay. I got the recordings running. I think okay. we are on the stream. Hello. Hello. Right. Hello. Okay. Yeah, we're all here. Oh, five hundred, huh? Oh my God. Ooh, ah, e, ah, ah, ting, tang, walla, walla, bing, bang. Ooh, e, ooh, ah, ah, ting, tang, walla, walla, bing, bang. That's what the witch doctor said. All right. So, here we are. You ready to do this, Dick? I am. All right. This is Saturday, November 5th, 2022. And we have reached the 500th episode of the Giz Fizz. And it begins in three, two. One and a half. 
one, zero, go. Dick, are you there? Yeah, uh, yeah, but I don't hear anything and I don't see anything. Do you hear me? I hear you. That's all. Right. All. all right. I'm no. going to cue okay. you. The 500th episode of the Giz Fizz for Saturday, November 5th, begins in three, two. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for... It's the Giz Fizz with the Giz Wiz. It's kind of like cheese whiz. It's the Giz Fizz. And now your host, Matt Mattis Ryder and the Giz Wiz, Dick DiBartolo. Welcome to episode 500 of, listen to this amazing, <laughs> we go all out with celebration here, 10 years, actually, according to Beatmasters, like 10 years and a couple of months, episode 500, oh my gosh, unbelievable so it's going to be a semi-special show okay we do have photos from george davis that you are going to uh caption we're going to look at oh like four or five minutes of the giz whiz halloween special but first jamma b last week said he was going to put together a little special video and he says he has done that. I have no idea what it is. So we're going to kick off the celebration by having Jamma B. If, is, do we need an explanation, Jamma B? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 cut okay. the, I, I cut the video down to uh, about four minutes. It's, it's like a half hour long. It's really uh, pretty cool. You know how YouTube will just surface stuff for you? I obviously, I was there when the guy talked to me and recorded all this stuff during a giz fizz but I had totally forgotten about it and never saw the video. And then like three or four months ago, it just, Hey, here's something for you to watch. <laughs> so it was very oh. cool. And most of it is we're talking about all, we don't have a half hour to show the whole thing. I will give you the information so that you can see it when I'm done. But okay. this was back when Alex was the engineer on Saturdays. He also was the editor for the tech guy. So after the tech guy would end, Alex would go and he would be editing the tech guy. So he was not able to come out and play Giz Fizz. So uh, I, we had a rule back then where everybody had to work, had to take two days off. At least one of those days had to be on a weekend, a Saturday or Sunday. So I did not work on My days off were Friday and Saturday. I didn't work on Saturdays, but I always came in on Saturdays because heck, that's when, you know, the tech guy's on. And, and there's, you know, we used to use this equipment that was really temperamental and I felt really bad. Giving Do you want to cut to yourself it? while you finish no, explaining? I don't, I don't, I don't, no, I okay. don't. No, 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 I don't. I don't. Uh, no, no. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't. But yeah, I I could, and I could look at the camera. You know, I could. But oh, I that, that's good. That's yeah. good because then we can see your hand movements. Yeah. Yeah. There. Yeah. Let me let me tell you all about this thing. So I actually made a bunch of notes and I printed them out, but I didn't get them off the printer. So I'm having to do it by. Oh. Is okay. Are my notes still on my computer? Nope. I, I closed the, and once I printed, I deleted the document. But I did want to say that it was a time when Alex was not doing the Giz Fizz. He was editing, and it was my day off, but I came in, and heck, if Dick's going to play with the chat room, I might as well hang out and push the buttons and, and facilitate that. So, this, oh, and I wrote the guy's name down. Darn it. Uh, well, at the end of this, I will show, okay, let's do it now. I'm going to show this. This is the uh, information about the, uh, nobody go and watch it now because we're going to play a, an edited version of this. But if you look for, whoops, if you look for, oops, that's not it. Nope. Uh, stop. <laughs> autoplay. Don't autoplay on me. So this is the YouTube. It's uh, Baron uh, Psychiaya. 
by Aaron C. Kaya. But if you look for This Week in Tech Twit, Studios in Petaluma, da, 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 you can find this video and then you can watch the whole thing where I explain a very interesting part of this. I enjoyed watching it because I talk about a lot of problems that we're trying to get around and things that we might do to fix them. Have, have we just moved into the brick house? Uh, this was two years into the brick house, a little less than two okay. years. Uh, one, and, okay. uh, one and three quarter years into the brick house. Okay. And But we were still using the sand. I mean, it's crazy. We didn't have the play. But it's interesting that a lot of the things I talk about I want to improve have been improved. So that was, but I, I cut that stuff out and I just, the, this video that I'm, we're going to show is basically um, the, uh, uh, the giz fizz part of that half hour, this guy taking a tour of Twit. And okay, that's good. Let's see if I pot this up. We can actually hear it. All right, here it is. They're very special. For the 500th episode of Giz Fizz, here's the behind-the-scenes look at the Giz Fizz from June 4th, 2013. For you, Mr. DiBartolo. Okay. Ooh, the brick house. Mo Larry, uh, Mo Larry and Curly, X Lax Prune, and even building okay. so many TV shows. You're recording now? Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, well, well hi. I'm used to not having yeah. a talent yeah. how he likes. <laughs> I'm John Slinny. Now I'm the studio manager here at Twit. The next show we're doing is tomorrow afternoon. <laughs> we're playing for 25. Says I was so at that's the why I had it pointing LA. this way towards the round table. We're just finishing up a show. This isn't really even a show. Dick D. Bartolo, Mads Mattis writer. He's been writing in Mad Magazine since uh, since the 60s in every episode. He does a show on Tuesdays called I should Giz Wiz. It used to be on Fridays. And when we moved it from Sat I mean, it used to be on Saturdays. When we moved it from Saturday to Tuesday, he still wanted something to do on Saturdays. So he just talks to the chat room. For an hour every Saturday afternoon. So and is this recorded or is this live right now? Uh, it's live. But I am recording it. Um, we will uh, put it into reruns. Saturday, our programming is pretty sparse when we have the three hours of the tech guy. So if we reran that over and over again, it so this just, just gives us another hour of programming to put into reruns. Plus, it's very nice of him to entertain our fans with uh, his little show, The Giz Fizz, we call it. There's a chat room celebrity of the week. He does match game questions. He used to write for the match game. He's going to be ending it pretty soon, and I'll have to start playing the reruns. There's nothing going on in this show. Dick's just talking. I don't have the opportunity to do much of anything, but uh, some of our shows, we get to play around with this stuff quite a bit. As soon uh, as wow. Dick decides he's wow. done with the show, I'll start playing today's reruns, and then it'll be time to go home. Watch how smooth I do this. Is somebody you might know, even your next door neighbor. Dick Bartolo saying, bye, chat room. <laughs> Thank you, Dick. Thank you, camera baby. Bye. See you. Dick's Wonder Up by Giorgio's of Hollywood! <laughs> okay, bye. And now we return to the tech guy already in progress. For the tech guy, we'll begin the six From Premier Radio Network. So, so right now, I've effectively gone into reruns. Now, we only do two shows on Saturdays. The tech guy, which is a nice three-hour show, but we rerun our shows that we do during the day all night. So now I will um, copy over the, let me get the chat. People are trying to talk to me in chat and I'll say goodbye to them. So now here's the Gizwiz that I just recorded and I'm copying it over. I'm copying it from the TriCaster to this machine. And as soon as it's done copying, I'll put it in the playlist and go home. From promote because at the beginning of every show, you'll hear bandwidth provided by Cashfly, C A C H E F L Y. Well, let's see. My file is copied over here, so the last thing I have to do is take this Gizwiz and put it in the reruns there, and now I am done for the day. We got about four hours worth of programming that's just going to run over and over again. 
So has there ever been a time where you guys had to rush down here for whatever reason? I did it this morning. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna turn off those lights. Okay. Let me hit this well, thanks button. for the tour. You're very welcome. All right, and thank that you. Was that. And if you go on, if anybody wants to see the whole thing, uh, the non Giz Fizz related parts of that were another 26 minutes worth. Uh, look for This Week in Tech, Twit Studios in Petaluma, California on YouTube, and uh, you'll be able to watch the whole thing. There it is. That was that, Dick. Thank you for uh, uh, indulging me. No, thank you. Also, Myra and I, Leo phoned in and said, get something uh, and put it on Twit's tab. So this is Canada Dry Ginger Ale. Okay. Oh, I thought it was going to be Martinelli's uh, sparkling apple cider. Um, no, we can't go that high. Anyway. Arr. Okay. So we're going to do photos from George get a new boat um photos from george davis that you caption and here is photo number one. Ooh, wow with air oh my god i have an airline uh okay it's it's a if you're just listening it's an airplane and the airline is with w-i-z-z -Z, and it's on the runway okay whiz airplane on the runway and you caption it uh all bathroom seat airline gives with airlines it's the whiz plane with pilot dickie d we tried to paint it while in flight sorry about the eye nothing beats the whiz i'm taking a whiz uh gives was ready to take flight dickie's up in the air this airline has no bathroom. The wonderful Wiz Air to Oz. Uh, wow, they're going so fast. Leaving to get the Wiz installed right now. Uh, Giz Wiz New Airline, Wiz Air, the flight you can take one on. <laughs> uh, it's really an outhouse in the shape of a plane. Wizard of Oz, plane with yellow exhaust. Wiz Airlines, oh, gone. Flying in a load of gadgets. Fly me. I'm Giz Wiz. Wiz Air. When an HO train just won. Oh, we're whizzing in the air. Don't mind the smell. Ever whiz at 3,000 feet? Fly us. It's held up to normal Giz Fizz maintenance standards. You're in transporter. I already have to go uh where can you take a whiz anywhere <laughs> dick's private airline from money he embezzled from twit and we'll end with empty pockets leo colton said buy an airplane for show 500 and let's see what george said george said my caption is dick decided to start an east coast airline and has a special that runs year round for $150, you can fly round trip from any city from Massachusetts to Florida. He's going to make a bundle. Uh, okay, photo number two from George is um, suitcases. And one of them has so much stuff it can't close. Okay, luggage. And one of them overstuffed to the brim and the chat room said sample of lost luggage from whiz airline so that's good uh dr mom that's how i packed for a weekend trip travel theme this week whiz air lost my luggage i told you not to buy the damn sunglasses this titanic trip's going to be a highlight packing for my flight with Wiz Airlines. Uh, need a foldy mate to stuff it. 1880 luggage style. Let me pull a rabbit out of my hat. I left my luggage on Wiz Air. Pack rats live in those. Flying light. Hey, there's no wheels on my new suitcase. We're going where we don't need clothes. Another lost luggage from Wiz Air. 
And we'll end with Ranger Rick, left half unpacked, ready to take a last minute flight. George said for the, an overstuffed suitcase, my caption is, Alice, go through your clothes and take out old things you can wear and throw some away. That way you can carry on less and buy new clothes when you return home. Um, oh, yeah. I, you know what? I, I did this tip. I save old clothes when I used to travel a lot uh, in a special place. And I would pack them. Instead of throwing them out, I would throw them out at the other end. And then that way you would have stuff to wear. It was good enough to wear one more time. And then if there was one of those goodwill things in the, you know, on your trip, throw it in there. If not, just throw it out. Um, okay. Uh, photo number three. Wow. It looks like a bedroom in a log cabin. I'm going to go with that. Okay. Hello, uh, everybody. And <laughs> never mind him. Don't mind him. Uh, okay uh we're going with bedroom in a beautiful modern log cabin um whoa says dwindle airbnb log cabin three bears home after foreclosure that's funny uh dr mom don't smoke in this room ranger rick this is the lincoln log suite Definition of stuffed up. Abe Lincoln slept here. Myra's cabin. You can start a fire in your sleep. Airbnb in Alaska. Really cheap now. First, <laughs> pack on W. First class on Wiz Air. Um, so that's what the inside of a syrup bottle looks like. Did we forget the baby? Goldilocks bed. A log B and B. My room at Lake Tahoe. We'll leave the light on. Sleeper suite on Wiz Air. Chumley, my retirement plan. Web 57 says you can saw logs in this bed. Clumpet's new cabin. Only $2,100 a month. I slept like a log. Rubber fake wood. That's where he took the plane to. Wake up in the morning surrounded by wood. And we'll end with uh, and for BFR, no curtains, so you can bear your booty to the bears. Okay. Um, George said, remodeled room from an old shack. My caption is, I use my talents and remodel this room from one of the rooms coming up in the next photo. Remodeled room from photo coming up in the next photo, which brings us to the next photo. Oh, my God. This is the house in the middle. We can't show it, but we can show the house. Uh, a really rundown, abandoned house or shack. Uh, it's a house, no door, no window. And missing a lot of wood. Economy seats on Wiz Air. It's got good bones. Wiz Hotel. Wiz Air headquarters. Little house on the prairie after divorce. Before they painted the house in the middle. Wiz Air CEO house 2022. Chumley retirement plan for real. House in the middle no longer in use. Myra's old homestead. Fixer upper, but great Wi Fi. Just need some coats of paint. Scare BB, a real fixer upper. Munster's vacation home. Little house on the prairie show set. Uh, would be fool robbers, deceiving. View is great. Uh, reactor described it as the realtor described it as quaint. And we'll end with Jim Tez, the death of the house in the middle. And George said, for the old shack in need of repair, my caption is, as I look at this old shack, I think there's enough good in it for it to be saved. 
Uh, okay, photo five. Oh, my word. Um, it's power line towers in fog. Either that or it's a it's a drawing of power lines. You know, those giant power lines you see in the woods. Uh, it's tons of power lines, cower, cow, carrying power, but the bottom is in fog. I'll go with that. It's whatever you want it to be. Uh, lousy reception up here. Foggy electrons. Uh, I have a Wi-Fi question. The cables that connect the internet to the cloud. Oh, that's very funny. Uh, pigeon eye chart. Godzilla before CGI. Ex uh, expect rolling blackouts. Transmission lines. Your electricity is foggy today. Our new robot overlords. Uh, Blue Angels flying, one pilot missing. Look out your windows to the left. High tension lines are all fogged up. New twit reception station in the fog. I got five bars here. Don't want to see that on final with Giz Air. Newest Elon Musk invention. Don't fly here. Doesn't seem U.S. based and will end with Web 51 bird's eye view. Okay. George said for heavy power lines sticking up in the clouds. Oh, okay. Uh, my caption is, I think it's too dangerous for up to send somebody up there in this weather to fix the lines. Safety first is our motto. We haven't lost anybody yet. And photo six of six is a man back to us, I guess, looking at a bulletin board. Man looking at a bulletin board. And it's hard to tell what's on the bulletin board. So it's whatever you want. Uh, okay. Storyboards are us. Gives with first magazine, uh, Mad Magazine mugshot. But who do I call for a good time? Decisions, decisions, decisions. I need to buy some yarn for this plot. No job openings. To Twitter do list <laughs> after Elon Musk takes over. So this is Waldo, board man looking at bulletin board. Jamma be at work. Wiz Air CEO wondering why they went bankrupt. Plotting his escape from prison. What Craigslist looked like before the web. Somewhere here is the name of the killer. New Gizwiz bulletin board. Who printed out the internet. Sure wish I was watching Giz Fizz instead of watch looking at this stupid wall. And we'll end with Dwindle. Act busy so the boss doesn't notice. Uh, okay, George said, for man studying papers on a bulletin board, my caption is, I help George Davis sometimes looking for interesting facts to be used on the Giz Fizz show. He mainly uses what he finds, though, the most. Uh, okay, and speaking of interesting facts, George says, these are, oh, oh, that was great. Cut back to George again. That's a great shot. George, that is such a great picture of you. Um, George said, here are all the laws that are still on the books. There's an Alabama, an Alabama blue law that says it's the against the law to wear a fake mustache in church in order to make someone laugh on Sunday. I guess you can wear it other days of the week. It's against the law to wear a fake mustache in church to make someone laugh on Sunday. Uh, there is a law in Canada called the no penny law. You're only allowed to use no more than 25 pennies at a time 
one guy tried to pay a $702 fine by using 7,200 pennies. And maybe that's why they developed the law that you can only use 25 pennies at a time. Uh, in Illinois, it's against the law to give you a dog a lighted cigar, no matter how much he wants one. What? Oh, John has a photo. <laughs> oh, oh. It says I, in parentheses. John has a photo for this. He, uh, hang on. In Illinois, it's against the law to give your dog a lighted cigar, no matter how much he wants one. Uh, I cannot imagine Charlie wanting. Wait, let me look at my trash. I know he sent it. I know I saw it, but I can't. I don't. Uh... Okay. Only if it's. Uh... Most courts will not accept payments in coins. My dog gets all the cigars he can eat. Um, I will, I'll go on to the next fact, and you can yeah, go back to I, the I, I, uh, I've, uh, I'll keep looking. Okay. Uh, in Massachusetts, using a boombox without earphones can get you arrested and put in jail for up to 30 days. Actually, that's not a bad law. I mean, you know, people now have, you know, headphones everywhere. But I remember when people would walk with those giant boom boxes and they were loud. George ends with, thank you, everybody, for making this a great show. George, thank you for making this uh, a great show, <laughs> or at least a show. Well, that's <laughs> making this a, a blank show. I, I couldn't find it in trash either. I know he sent it. I know I saw it, but I thought I might have deleted it. I couldn't find it in trash. I can't find it anywhere. I don't know what happened to it. So we'll have to deal with that again later. But I have a thing to interrupt the okay. show with. Um, if you recall, this picture here was the first picture yes. that George showed us. And it reminded me of something I see quite frequently. And we're going to go to the map. Let's go to the map. There's a map. You know that that place? That's Petaluma. You see the Petaluma right there? Let's, yeah, uh, yeah. Let's, uh, let's go. Let's go here by the the river. Go away. There's somewhere here in the river. I want to show you something right here on First Street. Right here on First Street. Let's get this little guy over here and see what this guy sees. Do 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 do. It's the Tizwiz. Oh, how funny. What the heck is that? So that's uh, that's right next to the D Street drawbridge over the river, and I pass that frequently and have never that's stopped to take a picture of it. But <laughs> Yay! So tizwiz. this is what they deliver. Yeah. <laughs> tizwiz feeds. That, that's a, that is a riot. Oh, yeah. Wiz Air. A couple blocks away. Is Wiz Air still in business, Doug S? I don't know. Uh, George ends with, oh, this is so funny. George didn't know about the heat wave coming. Uh, bundle up and stay warm. <laughs> and happy always. Bye till next time, George. George, we didn't have to bundle up. Not on the East Coast. It's in the 70s. And it's going to be 75 tomorrow. Um, George, thank you so much for all you've done for 10 years or whenever you started. I'm, I'm not sure years. if we had, uh, if we started with photos at the very beginning, probably not. No, you know, uh, you saw how busy I was during the Giz Fizz back in 2013. Yes. I was, I was, you know, pulling up lower thirds and the double boxes and playing all those sounds. Boy, that was quite, you know what happened? Alex got another job i mean somebody else came over as an editor and alex became sort of in charge of he became the flow master in charge of the video workflow which gave him the opportunity since he wasn't editing the tech guy anymore and he still worked on saturdays to be the td for the giz fizz and that's when it all changed you know when i was oh, when i was the td for the giz fizz you saw what i was doing yeah. I, I was talking to some guy who came in and some stranger. I was talking to him the whole show. But when Alex came and took over the Giz Fizz, then we got. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Wow. 
Wow. So thank you, Alex, for actually making this show a lot more fun. Absolutely. Uh, all right, we're going to do four minutes of the Halloween special, okay? We did the ho- this Halloween Eve and uh, OMG Chad, which people in the chat room, almost everybody knows him. Oh, we'll just do the uh, opening, and this was New Year, uh, New Year's Eve, Halloween Eve, our hey, virtual Hello, meetup. everybody, and welcome to the uh 2022 virtual gizwiz meetup dick uh dicky d uh we need dicky d in here where where's where is dicky d bartolo oh oh my dicky oh d my. will not be appearing tonight oh my god due to another <laughs> commitment with death oh my god oh this is serious this is very very serious. He plans on dying during this special, as the audience will see. <laughs> oh my! Uh, yikes! That's uh, I love your costume, Dicky D. Yeah, oh no, it's not a costume. That's what I normally wear when I go shopping. <laughs> That's your rejuvenating mask that you. Uh, Hang on! Oh you... my God! Oh, gosh! It's uh, it's really getting smoky in there. Oh my! Oh my! It's. <laughs> I have to pick it up again and put it into my camp. This is Dennis's favorite gadget in the whole world. I'm coming for you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, the operator didn't come on. Normally the, the <laughs> phone operator comes on. You gotta fire Anyway, him. how are you? I'm doing great. I'm doing good. I feel a little underdressed. Um, I did actually bring a costume. <laughs> Um, I guess I should change it. Uh, you know, now it is Hallow's Eve. Oh, so yeah. Oh. I got it. Oh. <laughs> you know, I actually used this uh, when I went to the Renaissance Festival earlier. Um, oh, my. This is my, yes. uh, my pirate costume here. I got to find the zipper. Do you, do you and Josh Nolan wear it together? Because it's huge. <laughs> You know, before I went on my diet, this was actually my normal clothes. Uh, oh, I see. Yeah. That um, is one heck of a diet. Yeah, exactly. I call it the uh, the anti-air diet because, um, you know, <laughs> I'm just full of air. Um, <clears throat> I can feel myself. You know, I feel like I ate a blueberry <laughs> piece of gum or something like from Willy Wonka's Isn't factory. I'm feeling a little <laughs> bloated. Oh my, uh, oh my, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I think, oh wait, I'm not, <laughs> oh no, I can't. <laughs> oh, that, is, that is great. There we go. I need to complete the outfit. <laughs> oh my God. There we go. That... <laughs> my hair isn't what it used to be, but. Uh... Let's see. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> oh, in my in my eye patch, I forgot yeah, about. We'll, we'll, we'll fix it in post. This is the actual eye patch, also that I probably take off. My uh, hat now you're supposed to be a pirate or a pirate ship because you're huge. <laughs> <laughs> you know, every time I need to back up, I hear beep beep beep. <laughs> <laughs> Logan Five said uh, there we he's go. Now, wide. This is the actual Johnson. eye patch, also that I had to wear just that the other. Is Great. So is there an air pump in there that you were using? There is. It's my pacemaker. It's right there. Oh, my <laughs> God. It, that is so funny. <laughs> that... <laughs> now, it's a little loud, so I am going to, I'm not going to last the whole. Oh, that's great. Turn you over. Here, I'll, I'll turn it off. There we go. Yeah. I'm not going to uh, last. <laughs> oh, that is great. Uh, the whole that's... time. Um, that is great. Anyway, we can go oh, out there. And one more the, thing, I have a a witch's oh, wait, one, one more thing. thing. Oh, the, this yeah. guy, no, this no, the whole a, thing uh, is. You know, is, I, t- I tend to get a few an extra hour. gadgets just in case. It's a great uh, gadget here. A gadget doesn't work out. Uh, is that a foaming diamond on the top? It's a. Uh, let me see if I can get a good shot of it. It is a mister. So this is actually like the same type of technology. This is. It's kind of loud, rustling. <laughs> Maybe I should t- <laughs> take off my. Oh, I think you gotta. 
I think you got a rip in your stomach. Oh, <laughs> I might. Um, this is the same type of technology that they use um, for those humidifiers, the, the water atomizing humidifiers. And they've added it, added some LEDs into it, and then, um, uh, you know, made it like into this cool, almost uh, uh, dry ice effect of oh, the mist yeah. that comes out. That is okay, really we can go out there. And uh, Scooter, uh, uh, Beatmaster, someone uh, Google YouTube on YouTube. Uh, Gizwiz Halloween special, I think 2022. And if you could put the link up there, it's 53 minutes long. And what we did was we asked people to send in photos of either their house or houses decorated for Halloween. And we got a lot of people. Oh, and then Chad's parents came in. It was a lot. It was, a, it was a ah, lot of fun. Very cool. Dick, it, dick, it dick, was, dick, 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 yes. dick. Yes. Uh, this John, just John, in, John. This just in. Uh, George sent me the photo that he had sent me before and I lost. And I okay. tried to call this was related to one of his facts. And it was about dogs and cigars. I can't remember. Oh, Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, yeah. It's a law. Let me see what it was. It's against. Wasn't that fake? It's against the law to give your dog a lighted cigar in Illinois. Okay. Everywhere else, it's fine. Yeah. Everywhere. Yeah. Hopefully, you're not giving your dog. Oh, uh, thank you, Martron. Thank you. And thank you, George. Uh, Ma uh, Martron posted the link to the entire Halloween special. Uh, okay, so let's do some uh, uh, um, logo. Uh, let me see. All right, it's about cake. Okay. The cake is a lie. What is the name of a heavenly dessert often served with whipped cream and berries? This is easy. What's the name of a heavenly cake often served with whipped cream and berries? They also make buses of the same name. Buses? Buses? Yeah, you, you know, the short bus. Well, uh, well, what, is your, what is your answer, Jamma B? Short cake. Like strawberry short cake. No, heavenly angel food cake. Chat room, half of you got it. <laughs> oh, who would know? Let's see. I don't even think Myra knows this. On average, how many cupcakes does the typical cupcake recipe make? The time is now 2 a.m. in Bakaba, Belgian Congo. On average, how many cupcakes will one cupcake recipe make? Um, there are a couple of right answers. There are... A couple of right answers, and I'm kind of surprised by the answer on the card. Myra, what do you think? Well, that would be my guess. Jamma B? A 10? 10? According to the card, on average, how many cupcakes will one cupcake recipe make? The answer is, well, Becky just got it there, too. Two dozen, 24 cupcakes. I found 12. This thing's recipe for 12. Oh, okay. Well, those people are right. <laughs> if you said twelve or twenty-four, you're correct. When I when I first moved to New York City, um, I I used to love to make chocolate chip cookies, but I love to eat the batter, and so I figured I live alone. Who knows if I'm eating batter or not? So I used to mix up the batter and 
I would eat half of it and I would end up with like eight cookies. And then I would eat more batter the next time I made it and I'd make only six cookies. And then finally one day I thought, why bother lighting the oven? So I mixed up um, a chocolate chip cookies and I ate the entire bowl. I got I got very sick. <laughs> <laughs> but don't you think, I mean, a fresh baked cookie though, it's hot and it's crunchy. I mean, it's a different texture. I don't know. It seems like yeah, I no, I no, no. If I was doing it again, I I'd only eat half the batter, and and fair, you're right, fair. and 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 still make some cookies. Do you ever uh, um, mix any into ice cream? Because I've I've seen that. Uh, so I go down the ice cream mile. I see uh, cookie dough. In oh the yeah, diner. chocolate. Yeah, uh, yeah. Ben and Jerry makes uh, uh, chocolate chip cookie ice cream. Oh, I've done this, but I never knew it had a name. What is the term? For removing the dome crown of a cake when you bake it. Yeah, I don't know how people bake totally flat cakes. What is the term used when you remove the dome of a cake after you bake it? If I knew you were coming, I would remove the dome of my cake. (laughs) We have... One correct answer, lobotomy, decapitation. Wow. No, only, I I guess we have one real cook in, yeah. I believe, I (laughs) flatten that sucker. I believe only Dr. Mom has it correctly it is called leveling leveling that makes sense sense. yeah wow dr mom you must really uh bake stuff what kind of cookies used to make decorated edible houses for the holiday i have a guess what kind of cookie is used to make Decorated holiday houses. Uh, 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 um. That was what I was going to guess too. What po- poison cake? Ah. Um, let me just ginger beard. <laughs> ginger beard. It is those, indeed those redhead men with the facial hair. The ginger beards. Ginger beard. It is gingerbread. Okay. Excellent. Uh, uh, um. Oh, okay. The category is called in your face. Oh, this is going to be very good. What was the first Apple phone to use face recognition? I think what I know. was the all right, don't don't say it out loud. Don't give it away to the rest of the class, John. I think just recently when I got my iPhone 14, I got rid of. Actually, I haven't gotten rid of it. It's still sitting there, and Apple's emailing me saying, "Why haven't you sent in your phone?" My the last phone I had was the last phone that had a fingerprint. So the phone. Oh, this is this one, is got... this is Apple. Right. So the phone after using the one I have face is the recognition. Uh, Pixel. <laughs> Uh, let's see, iPhone. Uh, oh, wow! Just a few people have it. Myra, do you know? I thought it was twelve. Myra thought it was twelve. Jammer B. Well, I had the last fingerprint phone, and it's an iPhone Seven S Plus. So I'm going to say eight. Uh, you know what? This says iPhone X. So is it iPhone Ten? Ten. I okay. Don't know. Well, that's what the card says. What's the name of the first Apple phone to use face recognition? iPhone 10. Oh, Oh, Magoo, too. Yeah, Magoo has it. And Giz1 has it. There was no iPhone 9. They skipped that. Okay, there you go. Oh, uh, let's see. This, this, This ad is very popular. I think lots of people get it. What company uses Get the Red Out? What company uses the slogan, 
get the red out. Oh my, yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Honest Profitable Accounting, Inc. Wow. <laughs> the Joe McCarthy channel. That's very funny. Plum is secret. All right. Myra, you know? Rising. And Jammer B, did you know that? Rising. Yeah. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Who in God's name is going to get this? What French cosmetic company makes mascara called Voluminous Lash Paradise? Let's see if anybody gets this correct. I'm guessing there is somebody in our chat room who knows. Okay. French cosmetic company, made, no, no Googling, makes mascara called Voluminous Lash Paradise paradise uh, uh, no one has exactly what's on this card but we'll give credit to <laughs> what strokes at a lash the last lash. <laughs> Okaru said, you lost me at makeup, L'Oreal. All right, we'll give it to people who said L'Oreal. It's L'Oreal. Yeah. Say again? That sounds La French. Orient. Yeah. L'Oreal Paris is the answer on the card. Oh, the... Uh, what do dentists use to numb pain? What do dentists use to numb pain? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> this is like a Three Stooges thing. Uh, uh, uh. Brick. Uh, uh, uh. A drill sound, laughing gas. A Novocaine hammer. A sharp needle. It is indeed on the card anyway. Muzak. Novocaine. Novocaine. Uh, okay. We'll do one more, and then I guess we'll just go to match game. Since uh, I'm picking one at random. Um, I don't know any of the question. Mystery theme. So we don't know what the theme is. We oh, oh, oh that's very good, John. Very good. Um what I don't know. This is a very hard question. What type of restaurant first opened in Dallas, Texas in nineteen twenty one? Wow. This is actually an interesting question. What type of restaurant first opened in <laughs> Hooters, Tex-Mex? What was the what type of restaurant that was first opened in Dallas, Texas in 1921? Last Chance Burgers. No one has it. No. I'm kind of surprised by the answer. Oh, someone's close enough to be a winner. I see one answer that could be a winner. Jamma B, any idea? It's a type of restaurant. It's a, uh, yes. a pandemic type restaurant. <laughs> Myra? Not a clue. Okay, the restaurant first opened in Dallas, Texas in 1921 was the first drive-in. So it must have come right after cars, right? I was thinking 2021. That's 100 years later. <laughs> uh, um, wow. Oh, this is interesting. 
What's the name of the drive-in they used in the TV show Happy Days? I know. All right, don't say it. It's here in Petaluma. Well, actually, they're all over the place. <laughs> There's one in San Francisco. Oh, okay, okay. What's the name of the drive-in? <laughs> Redacted said the Happy Days drive-in? <laughs> Uh, a lot. Oh, no, no, a lot of you are close, but wrong. Ah, uh, Myra, any idea? The only drive in I know is White Castle. Oh, okay. Uh, Jamie B, what do you think it was? Mel's. No, nah, close. According to the card, it's Al's. Yeah. Many people have it. Al's. <laughs> <laughs> And oh, this is very funny. Mel's Diner is featured in a 1973 movie that stars Ron Howard from Happy Days. What is that movie? Mel's Drive In is featured. In what 1973 movie that starred Ron Howard from Happy Days? What movie were we talking about last time? Because this is the this is the question I answered. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about American Graffiti. That is correct. Was that shot in Petaluma? Yes. American Graffiti was shot in Petaluma, Parts right? Parts of it. Yep. Parts. Okay. It is American Graffiti. Did you know that, Meyer? No. Okay. Final question before match game. Uh, what took prominence from drive-ins during the 70s and 80s? A little, a little weird. What took prominence from the drive-ins during the 70s and 80s? Oh! I don't even understand the question. Uh, I understand the question now that I've seen what the answers. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yes. Chat room, you're very smart. You're very, very smart. Yeah. The oh, is that uh all right? It's match game time. Yes, drive throughs is the answer. Several of you have it. And let me call Dennis. Is that Alex that we just saw? That's Alex. Up, okay. Up dealing with his transmitter towers, his satellite dishes. Hello, Alex. I am calling I'm, I'm checking to make sure that our dish heaters are turned on. It's getting kind of cold and wet uh, coming up this week. So you're, you're, do you're like the heaters or is that what you're looking at to see if their heaters are on? Yeah. And everything is good so far? So far, so good. Uh, there's two more I need to check upstairs. Okay. Well, let's see. You need to, I have tons of pens here. There you go. Pen. And... When Dennis comes in, you can give him that. Okay, you can take another piece from that if you want. Okay. Oh, wow. There are family-friendly answers to this question. But we don't want to Forget see any of those. Forgetful Fred said... How forgetful was he? <laughs> this year, I will not forget my anniversary... Instead of tying a string around my finger, I'm tying a string around my blank. Dennis, you're just in time to get your pencil. Okay. Forgetful Fred said, so I don't forget my anniversary this year. I'm not tying a string around my finger. I'm tying a string around my blank. Um, privates, tallywagger, gazelle, wife, neck, throat, 
calendar, dog, wallet, iPhone, Johnson, alarm clock, first wife. Oh, that's funny. Oh, I need a piece of paper. Okay. All right, Jamma B, we'll start with you. Forgetful Fred said, so I don't forget the anniversary, not tying a string around my finger, tying a string around my wife's finger. I think you got some matches. Okay. I'll, I'll match one. Alex? Uh, Alex, not tying it around uh, my I'll, finger, I'll, tying I'll, it tied I'll around my thumb. thumb. Sorry, 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 toe. 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 I don't think you got any matches. <laughs> okay. Some, some uh, Myra thing. said. Oh, Myra, you got some matches. Myra said, tying the string around my neck. And, oh, then it said wife's nose. Well, wife's finger. Well, any any wife thing we're related. We're just gonna yeah, that, that's right. Um, I said, tie a, a string around my ear. Um, okay. And uh, what was your answer, John? Wife's finger. Oh, finger. Okay, that was that was a good answer, actually. Um... Oh, uh, what are you eating? At the at the army induction, they decided not to induct Harvey because Harvey bought his blank with him. At the army induction center, they decided not to induct Harvey because Harvey bought his blank with him. My, my answer is quite good. And it's the way I wrote it. That's good. Babysitter. Oh, that's very good. Oh, that's very good. Oh, okay. I got some matches. Yes. And, and, uh, you people who match me use the, the exact right word. Um, okay, Dennis, we're going to start with you. At the induction center, they decided not to induct Harvey because Harvey brought his blank with him. Uh, husband, you got some matches? Myra said, brought his pet amoeba. <laughs> I got some matches. He brought his mommy. Uh, Jamma B, you said they didn't abduct him because he brought his rabbi. And Alex, Alex. they didn't abduct him because he brought yeah, his Alex is, Alex is uh, we, we can't find Alex anymore. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, um, dumb door was so dumb. How dumb was she? She was so dumb, she thought the Super Bowl was Superman's blank. Oh, this is easy. And it's really not dirty. Dumb door was so dumb. She thought the Super Bowl was Superman's blank. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, we're starting with me because there are a ton of matches. Dumb Doe was so dumb she thought the Super Bowl was Superman's toilet bowl. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh, Myra? Oh, she thought the Super Bowl was Superman's cereal bowl. That's okay. You just match Tang, a uh, Tang fish. I couldn't think of any. Oh, Dennis could not think of anything. Alex is back. Uh, and Jammer B, you said Super Bowl was Superman's <laughs> amphitheater. Mm. Wow. Talk Holy, about Hollywood way Bowl. There's a lot of. <laughs> oh, I see. Oh, okay. Oh, we're going to do one more and then. We got Alex. Oh, okay. 
Alex, you can answer this without writing down anything. Dumb door was so dumb. She thought the Super Bowl was, was Superman's blank. <laughs> uh, cereal bowl? Yeah, yes, you got a match. You matched Dennis. Excuse me. Um, da -da, um, um, okay, they closed down Murray's Bakery because instead of selling Lady Fingers, Murray was selling ladies blank. Oh, okay. This is easy. They closed down Murray's Bakery because instead of lady fingers, Murray was selling ladies blank. Charlie, you're next. Ladies undies. Lady, lady bugs. Oh, a lot of lady bugs. Ladies, me. Um, wow, what is he climbing a tower out there? Wow. Uh, John, we'll start with you. They closed down Murray's bakery because instead of ladies' fingers, Murray was selling ladies' toes. A lot of matches there. Um, I'll do ladies' toes. We match. Oh, Myra, so we're all, it's a runaway match. Toes. And Dennis, ladies, you got some matches, Dennis. Ladies, underwear. Always a good seller. And Alex, I think he's up on a, uh, instead of selling lady uh, fingers. Here's some ladies' pocketbooks. Buzz. Thank you. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen. We went more than an hour, but it was a special 500th episode of Giz Fizz. And we're going to meet our... Okay, Charlie said, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. How am I getting... That? Oh wow! Oh my God! The five hundred, the five hundred! Oh my God! I'm on the, I'm on the five hundred show. Look at this! Oh wow! Five hundred! Is that possible? Is that true? Oh, <laughs> no, you make everybody's day. Oh my God! Oh my God! What a boy! What a boy! <laughs> Where's my check? Where's my check? <laughs> All right, buddy. Charlie, that was great. Hang on, hang on. Oh, wow. Look at that tower. All right, chat room. This was great fun. Uh, this really became something. It's just sort of amazing that that this could last 10 years uh, and and george davis thank you so much for being such a part of this show it's just great and jamma b and even alex up way up there uh for helping make gizwiz what it is alex whatever made giz fizz the show that it is today you saw what it was when i was running it <laughs> it was just dick talking to the chat room and Alex, well, okay. Alex. Well, it's slowly it slowly evolved into a thing. I think uh, so. Is. Chat room. Thank you for that. Uh, this has been show five hundred of regular old fashioned is this. Oh, that's there we go with the harp ladies. Uh, regular old fashioned kids fizz. Is a Mark Goodson, Bill Todman, Dick D. Bartolo, Dennis Wonderland, Myra Joyce, Gamma B, Alex Gumpel, George Davis, Beatmaster, Scooter X, Bloke, Doug M, Tupelo Steve, Superu, Osnet, Sly One. Oh my God, they're so fast. Demos, Cool Breeze, Pack NW. 
Mike B, Okaru, Morgus, Stooge, ZX, Wendell, Denver George, Geek Wannabe, Dale Paco, Giz One, Becky, Dan Duku, and Jim Tez. Brought to you by Turtle Wax. It's not just for turtles anymore. Chat room, that was great fun. That was great fun. Thank you, Dick. So, uh, Thank you, see Alex. you third. Uh, chat room. This week we do a Giz Whiz Thursday and again Friday. Of course, the following week Chad's doing a charity, a week long charity event. So Giz Whiz this Thursday night and Friday night at normal times, and then show five hundred and one next Saturday after radio. Thanks, Jammer B. Uh oh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Happy five hundred. Right. Take care. This is good. That's that's all the equipment needed to make this show possible. We have a man on the roof directing the signal to your living room. Um. Okay. Bye. Thanks, Jammer B. Uh, 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 uh.